Hi everyone, my name is Haley Wilson, a Solutions Engineer here at Logi Analytics. And in today's broadcast video, we will be walking through how to use Logi Composer to create a custom visualization coming from an external charting library like this grape chart that we are seeing in our demo right here. Before beginning today's tutorial, um, if you want to follow along, please make sure that you have Node.js installed on your workstation, as well as have Logi Composer's custom chart CLI installed. Now, after all that is installed, let's get started. So the first step that we want to do um, before creating our chart is to make sure that we are going to establish a connection from our custom chart CLI to Logi Composer itself. So in my case, I am going to establish my connection right now by typing in ZD chart config. Now the CLI will prompt me for um, typing in my instance URL. So in my case, I'm going to type in the one that I'm using right now. And then it will prompt asking for your own user um, credentials. Now to verify if we have successfully um, established a connection, what we can do is do um, ask our CLI to list out all the existing custom charts in there. And there it is, looks like we currently have two custom visualizations in there. And in today's example, let's go ahead and replicate this grape chart inside our instance. So the first thing that we're going to do after establishing the connection is go ahead on our desktop and establish a folder where we want our new chart to live. Now, after this part, we can go ahead and do a ZD chart, init, and initialize the setup of our chart. And today I'm going to call our chart my first custom chart. Now, if we take a quick look in here, we'll notice that um, our custom chart CLI has laid out um, a default directory in the spe specified path containing all the files that we need to get started. So within the package JSON, it uh, contains all the information about um, names, control, about uh, our chart dependencies, really. Um, and then in the visualization JSONs, where um, all the information about the names, controls, and variables of our own charts. Um, the Webpack config JS is our configuration for Webpack, and Webpack is used in chart to bundle our code into a single file. Now, um, the files that we will be modifying will be under our source folder, and we will be mostly modifying our index.js. This is the main entry point to our chart's JavaScript code, and additional files can be used and imported into our index.js file. And lastly, we also have a main entry point to our chart CSS code. So from this point, we're now going to install the default dev dependencies um, listed in the package.json file that we saw earlier. So now in our terminal um, window, now let's go ahead and cd to your chart's root directory and do a um, npm install. So now we are ready to get started. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a text editor. And as we can see here, when we do a chart init, it will um, come with some default samples, our default structure of the index.js file readily available, but you can feel free to make tweaks and so on. And for today's example, to create that custom grape visualization, we are using a, um, a, a charting library called eCharts. 
The reason why I personally really like eChart is that it comes with a really cool library、um, that contains many different type of charts. And for my example, I actually based on our、um, based our grade chart on a、um, example that eCharts provide. As we can see here, they have many different type of crazy charts, and、um, when we go in each of them, they actually provide the underlying source code for us to、um, get started. For our tutorial purposes, I'm just going to. Use the same code that I used to previously develop the grape chart. So I am going to clear out everything that's currently inside this JS file and bring in the other、um, existing code that I already have inside this index.js file. Fantastic. And the last thing we also need to do is to make sure. Um, to import the charting library that we plan to use and import the package to our、um, custom chart filter. So again, let's go ahead and go back to our terminal window, and this time I'm going to install the eCharts library. Now come back. Let's just go ahead and double check if we have a chart, and there it is. That looks great. So after、um, we have imported all the libraries that you want to use, and you're able to develop a custom chart that you want to use,、um, the last step is to push our update to our composer instance itself、um, to be used during our dashboard development. So all we need to do right here. Is to、um, start up the process. So let's go ahead and come back to our terminal. So、um, the first step of the process is going to start out by compiling a development version、um, of the charts code with our Webpack bundler. So in the terminal window from the root directory. Now let's go ahead and run npm start. Now the second step. Now this require us to open up another terminal window. So I'm just going to choose a different color, so we know that's the separate one. And let's also go ahead and go to our chart folder, and we want to use our CLI's command. And push our existing charts code into our composer instance. So now looks like、um, our pushing has been complete. So now coming back to our instance just to double check. Under custom chart tab, and there it is. There is our my first custom chart that we were just creating together. Now, before we're able to bring in this chart into a dashboard, we will need to go to、um, the the data sources and enable the custom chart option on our、um, data source. So let's go ahead and check my first custom charts, and right here. So this is an important step to be able to hook up our charts data with the chart itself. And how we do that is by using um, our um, data accessors that Logic Composer provide. So within my grape chart, we're exposing will be、um, actually data using two endpoint. So if we come back. To our code base right here, we'll notice that we're grabbing two things. So first of all, we're going to be using、um, the data accessor, 
and grab the group by metric, um, group by value. And we're going to use data accessor again to grab the metric value. And how we can define this can either be done through the CLI itself, or like me, what I'm doing right now, you can also use Composer's UI under custom chart. And on the right hand side, you can able you can also define what you want the group by and the metric to be. So in my example today, um, for the grape chart, I want to use grapes to represent sales by date. So I'm going to do a group by date and change that to year. And um, looks like that is good. And perhaps I also want to sort that um, reverse chronologically. Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and hit save. And here is the moment of truth. So let's go back to our library, create a new dashboard, and add in our custom chart with grapes into our dashboard. And let me just expand the data set to the entire um, time range. And there we go. So what we've went over today are the basic steps that you need to go through to really enable Composer's custom choice CLI to establish connection to your own Logic Composer instance. And we also walk through the file structures and where we can type in our custom charts code. And lastly, how to push our custom code into Logic Composer so that we can surface our awesome custom charts on the front end. I hope it was helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions via email. Have a great day.